Hello, this is Joe Trahan welcoming you to the All Me podcast from the Taylor Hooten Foundation, whose mission is to enlighten the world to the truths about appearance and performance enhancing substances. As the national leader on this subject, they communicate their educational messages through various methods, including this podcast. Thank you for listening and enjoy the show. Welcome back to the All Me podcast. My name is Don Hooten Jr. and today I'll be your host. Today our discussion is going to revolve around dietary supplements and one of the nation's top supplement manufacturers. We're going to take a look behind the curtains into a company who produces third-party certified products for their customers. Our discussion will talk about product formulation, why it's important to produce clean supplements and have them certified through NSF Certified for Sport program, as well as the importance of selecting great brand ambassadors. Today, we'll be talking with Adam Branfman, e-business director for Atrium Professional Brands and brand manager for Clean Athlete, Atrium's NSF Certified for Sports Supplement brand. Since 2009, Adam has proudly worked for Atrium Innovations, recognized around the world as an innovative leader in the development, manufacturing, and commercialization of science-based nutritional health products. Adam has held various roles within Atrium Professional Brands division and currently serves as brand manager for Clean Athlete, Atrium Innovations professionally endorsed sports nutrition brand. As a former collegiate rower, elite level road cyclist, and currently an avid runner, Adam maintains a strong interest in health, wellness, nutrition, and athletics, competing regularly in running and cycling events in his hometown of Portland, Oregon, balancing career, competition, family, raising two kids ages three and five. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to hit subscribe on whichever platform you're currently listening to us, as well as provide the All Me podcast some feedback. The Taylor Hooten Foundation is a nonprofit organization that's mission is supported by our generous donors. Please consider making a donation to support our mission. Thank you for your support. Now let's talk with Adam. Adam Brantman, welcome to the All Me podcast. Hey, thanks, Don. It's great to be here. So let's begin talking about you. It's great for our listeners to understand what our guest backgrounds are. It helps us to know what inspires and drives you to do the work each day that you do. Where did you grow up? Where are you from? Yeah, I grew up in uh, Newton, Massachusetts, just outside of Boston. So as you might expect, naturally, I'm a born and bred Red Sox fan. And growing up, uh, we played many sports. Uh, My brother and I were constantly in sports classes, playing for teams, a variety of different activities from gymnastics to, you know, creative movement type sports. Um, Most consistently, though, we uh, participated in youth soccer, which uh, I played competitively until college and uh, always lived a healthy, active lifestyle as kids. And I'm fortunate to I've had that opportunity. You mentioned you're a Red Sox fan. I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that you've actually gotten to see a game there at Fenway. Is that right? Yeah, Fenway is a pretty special place. I think it's one of the best. And there's a lot of heritage and culture and fanfare that happens there. And I feel like there's nothing like going into Fenway Park. You are absolutely right. And I've had the opportunity, Adam, as you know, in the work that we do, I've traveled to all 30 major league teams and currently – I've been to 29 of the 30 standing stadiums. The only stadium I haven't been into yet is the brand new stadium there in Atlanta for the Braves. But last year, I had an opportunity to watch a game at Fenway. We did an on-field presentation with Chris Sale, who is one of our all-me Major League Baseball advisory board members. And I remember sitting there during the first couple innings and people are into the game. They're screaming, they're yelling, thinking, wow, I could quickly become a Red Sox fan, even if you, did, you disliked them. It was, it was so much fun, just an amazing atmosphere. So I always tell people Fenway is one of the greatest places to watch a baseball game. Yeah, it's one of the greatest places to watch a game. It's a great culture of fans and supporters, you know, and also Boston as a city is such a sport centric, you know, competitive, you know, sports city. And, you know, walking into that city and walking around downtown and, in and around the Fenway area is really, truly pretty special. So if you haven't been, I definitely recommend it. It's a great experience for the whole family. I love going to Boston and they love their visitors too. Amazing people. What's your favorite sport? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, I 
played a whole number of sports in my life and soccer is the sport that I played the most of if you were to look at how many years um, it was always our go-to but in middle school and high school I began to expand my sport diversity and competed for many years in wrestling and track and field and I'd have to say my most memorable youth sports achievement was winning a league championship in wrestling uh, my senior year in high school nice um, just given how how uh, how special a sport wrestling is. You know, it's just you on the mat, one other person. You're kind of in center stage. You're working hard for one, you know, really one goal that you're looking at the whole season. Um, and winning that championship earned me a number two ranking in uh, the New England Prep School League. Second to that, I would say in youth sports, my my second most proud achievement was um, winning a four by four hundred meter track and field New England championship. After high school, though, things got much more interesting and I really kind of found my groove in endurance sports. All right, and those are still some sports you compete in today or at least practice? Yeah, so um, I'll tell you a little about that. So after high school, I really discovered endurance sports was was where I felt most comfortable um, and is where I was most inspired. And I think it just had some to do with the level of kind of individual competition and lifestyle and the enjoyment of being an athlete and competing as an individual. You know, in that context, I my, my freshman year in college, I joined the crew team just on a whim. I actually went to college thinking I was going to play soccer and things didn't quite pan out. And I made the best of an unexpected situation and walked on to the rowing team um, at a division three small private school in upstate New York. And I'd soon find out that this would really become the turning point in my athletic career and ended up leading the team as a captain for a couple of seasons. We won several New York state championships um, in the lightweight fours event. And I would say rowing, you know, to answer your question, Don, my favorite sport and probably my most memorable sport as I began to mature as an athlete became rowing. Okay. And it really defined my athletic career from that point on as a endurance athlete for many reasons. The, the first few that come to mind is it really taught me about self-discipline, strict time management as you're a busy college student trying to manage a whole number of things, friends and classes and tests, staying healthy, training. It forced me to mature as an athlete through leadership with a great deal of importance on commitment, focus, drive, and the role of, of an individual within a team environment, because at the end of the day, you're in a boat with four or with three or seven other guys, and you're really working together cohesively to achieve one, one goal together. Not to mention waking up at 5 a.m. <laughs> yeah. and then spending two hours on the water every day, going straight to the dining hall, full day of classes, you know, most days in the evening session in the gym. So you're training twice a day. You know, if you're not prepared to endure that kind of structure and discipline, then then it's just not going to work. And this really, for me, began to trans be, began translating into really useful life skills that I'm now finding myself applying in my professional career with clean athlete. You know, rowing is one of those sports that one is extremely grueling. Uh, you've got to be in tremendous shape. But the other thing is, I mean, you're also burning a ton of calories, and we're going to kind of get to some of that stuff, but while you were in college, what did you get your degree in? I took a little unconventional, a bit of an unconventional route to, to where I am today. I attended Skidmore College in upstate New York, the small Division three private school, liberal art um, education. I studied art history, Spanish, and studio art. Um, and my, my art and art history concentrations are really in graphic design and communication design which is probably what is most applicable to what I'm doing today in my current sales and marketing role within e-commerce. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think, um, I think there's something to be said for studying a range of subjects and a range of information. Never would I have thought that I'd end up where I am today with that background. I actually thought I was going to become an architect, <laughs> yeah. um, which is what put me on, put me on that path. I've always been a, you know, an, an artsy and creative individual and now I find myself still creative but applying those skills that I acquired through school and through experience in more of a, a real world business setting. Which is so interesting that you say that because so many people think you know I, I'm gonna get my my degree in X Y and Z but 
when I leave school, I end up doing something in A, B, or C, which is completely different than what you had initially set out to do. And that kind of gets me to where you are today. And, and you know, you're, you're an athlete, you love playing sports, you know, you're, you're rowing in college, you, you're at a liberal arts school, you're, you're getting your degree in, in that type of, you know, in, in, liberal, in liberal arts and, and marketing and that sort of thing. But Today, you're working for Clean Athlete Nutritional Supplements, and Clean Athlete was founded in 2012 by athletes for athletes. Tell us more about Clean. What are your roles and responsibilities there? Can I tell you just kind of how I got here first? I think it'll give some good context. I graduated college in 2006. I'm 36 years old, and after graduating college, I was was determined to not stop competing as an athlete. It's really, it defined me as a person. It became sort of a core value sport and commitment to athletics became one of my core values. And I was determined to continue my athletic career. And while I was training for rowing in college, I discovered road cycling as, as a kind of counterbalance activity for rowing and something that I could participate in during the summer when I wasn't you know, when I didn't have access to my boathouse and my teammates, um, I couldn't afford a boat club membership, but I could afford, I, I could afford a cheap road bike that I got from a friend. And as a poor college kid in the summers, I picked up a used road bike and began riding it around my neighborhood. I found the local cycling community, entered a few local races and pretty quickly got my butt kicked uh, pretty <laughs> badly. But, but it, but it was the fuel that inspired me to keep going. And um, I sort of have that kind of personality that if you're going to try something, commit to it and see it through so that if you fail at it, at least you failed trying pretty hard. You couldn't agree um, more. What I found is the more I, the more I cycled, the stronger I became in the boat. And the stronger I became in the boat as I got home in the summer, and the stronger I became on my bike. So if you fast forward, in my senior year of college, I became a, a Category 1 road cyclist, which is basically an elite amateur level. It's the highest level of an elite cyclist you can become without having a professional contract. I joined a great team. Um, out of New England and began competing against some of the country's top cycling professionals, still getting my butt kicked. After college, decided that I wanted to continue to pursue it because, again, I was committed to it. I wanted to see it through and see how far I could get. And I had this goal of sort of a mystic, m- mystical goal of signing a professional cycling contract, which ultimately didn't happen. I worked quite hard trying to get there, training, you know, upwards of five hours a day, waking up wow. at 6 a.m., I was working part-time in a local bike shop for several hours during the day. And then in the afternoons, I'd hop on my bike and ride over to, um, there's a local private school where I was coaching soccer, track and field and wrestling. So three season, three season coach for, a, for high school teams. And pretty soon the goal of a professional cycling career became a bit less important. My life goals transitioned just a bit away from sport and more towards you know, discovering my purpose, discovering a professional career. That's when I found that that's what sort of brings me to your question. That's when I found Atrium Innovations, a Boston-based company, and started my career, my professional career at Atrium Innovations in 2009. Just at the end of 2009 and shortly after that, Clean Athlete was was born just as a startup brand within one of our healthcare professional brands, Douglas Laboratories. Fast forward a few years, that's what brings me to where we are today. Clean has got a really cool brand name. Having met you and, and talked to you over the years and seen a lot of the products that, that you guys offer, it's a really cool looking brand. What are your roles and responsibilities with Clean? Yeah, my role with Clean Athlete is to really lead the sales and marketing strategy um, in all channels. We've got two channels, B2B, which for us, coaches, trainers, professional and collegiate sports teams. Um, as well as direct-to-consumer, which is our direct-to-athlete strategy. We have a very strong, cohesive team um, of sales reps and marketing managers. Everybody is either a recreational or an elite-level athlete. They care very deeply about their health and wellness. We have three sales reps and two marketing managers. While the team has very specific functions, everyone, including myself, we all wear multiple hats. And that changes on any given day due to the nature of Clean being a small niche brand selling to teams and consumers across the country. Okay. And what does the brand stand for? 
So we believe that, that we've got a purpose and that purpose is to help athletes achieve their goals on and off the field. What that means is from peak performance to everyday health and wellness. And no matter if someone is a top level pro competing, you know, getting paid to, to compete and train, or if they're just a beginner athlete or, or a healthy active consumer looking to, to be healthy. For us, it's about safety and quality. That's why all of our products are scientifically formulated based on data and research. They're third party tested uh, by the NSF certified for sport program. And, you know, we've, we've built and developed a large base of professional and collegiate teams, which for us is the credibility that tells us that we, yeah. that we're doing something right, that we have a purpose and that people find benefit from it. And our products, they follow, a very simple, a very simple paradigm. And what that is, is third party tested, free from science based, using very high quality ingredients to support active lifestyles with everything you need and nothing you don't. The brand was was founded in 2012. So like I said, it was a startup brand within Atrium Innovations within one of our longest running healthcare professional brands, Douglas Laboratories. Douglas Laboratories has been around for over 60 years selling directly to doctors, more traditional healthcare professionals, and selling very high quality, you know, physician endorsed, professionally endorsed uh, health products, manufactured in-house in our own laboratories, tested in-house. And we had a brainstorm and we said, well, how can we leverage all of this expertise and vertical integration to reach consumers and a very special group of consumers, athletes, who really we identified could benefit from a safer, better alternative to support their, their health and peak performance. And that's really what gave birth to Clean. So it was founded in 2012 by athletes for athletes, inspired by, by athletes and consumers who are really striving for optimal health and peak performance every day in the short term, but also the long term. Um, who demand the most from themselves, their sport, and in the case of clean, their nutrition. And our goal is, hasn't changed. Since day one, our goal has been to help athletes achieve their goals by fueling their, their nutritional foundation to drive peak performance. And at our core, we're athletes. You know, we are our own customers. And we believe that athletes deserve the, the highest quality, safest, um, nutritional supplements to support their health and well-being. You're talking to somebody right now that I, I'm not a competitive athlete, but I love going to the gym. I love exercising. I love running. You know, I, I take multivitamins and, and a couple of other supplements. For an athlete or even a non-athlete that's just looking to better their health, what types of products do you guys carry for your consumers? We offer a variety of products. The common thread in all of them is data and research. We are very careful. We're very deliberate about the products that we formulate and that we commercialize um, and put onto the market. And they range from um, everyday essentials like a multivitamin, a probiotic, uh, a vitamin D, a, you know, omega-3 fish oils. And these are products that you, know, you would consume every day whether you're an athlete or you're just an average consumer. Uh, you know, on the flip side of that, we also offer products specifically targeting pre, during, and post-workout, post-training, such as, you know, very clean whey protein, hydration, electrolyte drink mix, uh, recovery product, which is higher in hydrate, amino acids, both essential and branch chain. Um, we recently launched our new clean collagen and vitamin C. And, you know, for us, it's about, it's about two things. It's about that strong nutritional foundation, tried and true formulas and ingredients for everyday health and wellness. And then it's about supporting athletes during training, during competition with those essentials that they need to keep them healthy when they're on the field, in the gym, or recovering post-workout. So you guys carry a wide variety of products for consumers. And one of the questions that we had gotten as I was doing some of my research on clean and preparing for this interview today, some of the athletic trainers and even sports dietitians that we work closely with, they were curious about what is the formulation process like for a company like clean? Formulation process is, is unique. What I want to talk about first, though, is, is a few things that 
that you'll find are similar across our product line, no matter what the product is or no matter what the formula or category is that it fits in. We believe in the idea of, of everything you need and nothing you don't. But what does that mean? What that means for us is that the, the, we're very deliberate about the formula and ingredients that we put on the market, meaning if it's an ingredient that will benefit you as an athlete, we use only the highest quality. We don't use any fillers or binders. The complete line, every product, GMO-free and formulated without wheat, gluten, artificial flavoring, sweeteners, colors. And for us, what this is about, it's about integrity. We believe that integrity is paramount and product quality is an absolute. Um, it's a must. And all of our manufacturing facilities, we use uncompromising standards, state-of-the-art equipment, rigorous testing, as I mentioned before, and we'll talk about in a little bit here, third-party certification with the NSF Certified for Sport program. And it's all about consistency and quality for us. Then once we start to talk about how we formulate, formulation is all based on data and science. And that's really where new product innovation starts. And our approach really, you know, at the highest level is to study the most substantiated science-based ingredients and formulas to validate them with the data and with the research and commercialize products that only use these highest quality ingredients, but also the clinical dosings that are substantiated by the research and data. Our raw materials that go into the formulas, they come from only trusted industry suppliers, industry leaders, and raw materials and ingredients are always tested very rigorously for purity and potence. We use a series of um, independent certified laboratories to do this and very rigorous internal testing and quality criteria to qualify our suppliers to be able to work with them. So Which um, I think it's all about attention to detail. One of the things I wanted to say, and, and I didn't mean to cut you off there, but one of the things I think is essential that you guys do that differs from, from a lot of brands that are out there is that you guys do check and inspect your raw materials. And I think, you know, when, when you look at numbers that are 18 to 25% of over-the-counter dietary supplements could be spiked or tainted with a banned substance or even illicit drug, uh, this is an important step that you guys take to know where your raw materials are coming from, that you're testing your raw materials to ensure the safety of, of your products. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point, Don. And, you know, where I really, um, the, the area where I really connect with the brand and believe in it, because clean, you know, on the one side of the brand, it's a, it's a job, it's a career, but it's also, you know, a brand that I personally connect to um, in my own life. And, you know, being an athlete, competing in a sport like cycling, like endurance sports that historically, as we all know, um, have not always been the cleanest and athletes in those sports are not always the most transparent and straightforward. For me, it's the opposite. It's about being informed and it's about taking care of my health and my well-being and, you know, not cutting corners with subpar or even dangerous nutritional products. And it's about making making informed decisions, you know, at, here at clean, but also for me personally, it's the belief in, in clean sport and fair play, being honest, being transparent with your, you know, not only externally with your, your teammates, your coaches, your competitors, but internally being yes, true sir. to yourself. Yes. Sir. Um, you know, and, and the, the formulation process is very indicative of this belief system, holding our brand, our product, and ourselves as employees and as athletes ourselves, when we, when we leave the office to the highest standards, morally, ethically, and, and through quality, knowing that we're working with the gold standard and third party, cert, third party safety certification with the NSF and, you know, designed to help athletes, trainers, coaches make more informed decisions when choosing sports supplements. We make informed decisions when we're formulating them for the goal of allowing athletes to make more informed decisions when they're choosing what to consume. And, you know, at the end of the day, what it comes down to is a commitment to doing what's right as athletes, as competitors, as teammates, as employees working for a company in this vast world of sports nutrition. At the end of the day, we believe that doing what's right is most important for ourselves, but more than that, for our consumers. 
And that really goes around everything, Adam, as you know, that we believe that we built around all me, just knowing exactly what you're putting in your body so that when you step on the field to compete or you do whatever it is that you want to do in life, you know, you're doing it drug free or, you know, banned substance free. So you've given us the background of this formulation process. Do you have a team of scientists that look at the research that come up with the formula products or is that something that you guys would outsource? How does that all work? Yeah, it's a great question. So a clean athlete and, and more than that, within the Atrium Innovations professional brands, we're committed to formulating and manufacturing the safest, highest quality, science-based sports nutrition products available for all athletes at every stage of the training cycle from everyday health and wellness to peak performance. And the ingredients, the formulations, the products that we offer reflect a, a very true and sincere commitment to scientific innovation. And what's at the root of that and the core of that is our sports nutrition experts, uh, both in-house as well as contracted consultants who we work with, board certified, registered dietitians, members of, of different professional groups, trade organizations within our industry, um, as well as our own registered dietitians, PhDs, nutritional pharmacologists, scientists who bring a, a, a breadth of diverse professional backgrounds, a wealth of knowledge, very extensive experience to the research and development process. You know, it's a mix, like I said, of dietitians, nutritionists, you know, even educators, writers, sports physiologists that have experience working with some of the world's most successful sports teams programs, individual athletes. But what brings it home, Don, and what I think, you know, is is where it all comes together is that the majority of our experts, our scientific experts and advisors, they're actually athletes themselves. And personally, they're committed to living a clean, healthy, active lifestyle. And it's because of that, that they're dedicated to delivering scientifically supported products that are safe and effective for consumer athletes, you know, it goes back to clean was founded by athletes for athletes. And there's athletes touching our brand and our product every step of the way from formulation to use once they're available on the market. Adam, one of the topics we've talked about in the past is, is when it comes to product formulation. And as you know, the work we do, we focus on middle school kids, high school kids, adult influencers, and, and even college kids. But one of the things that we've talked about over time is how dietary supplements really aren't formulated for youth and, and even some adolescent consumers. Is that an accurate statement to make? Yeah, my response to that is we need to be responsible as brands and as educators and as trusted advisors to athletes and to parents. Within Clean, we don't formulate and, and today commercialize any products specifically targeting youth and adolescent consumers, because it has to do with, with dosings, with usage recommendations, with safety of certain ingredients. However, what we know is that at the end of the day, and, and I think you can probably relate to this too, Don, at the end of the day, a very large number of youth and adolescent athletes are consuming dietary supplements, like it or yeah. not. And I think, you know, at baseline, we just have to know that and accept it. And this is where it, this is where it's a slippery slope. And because, you know, as youth and oftentimes parents, it's very difficult to know what the, the safe options and safe alternatives on the market are that they should be turning to. First and foremost, it's about NSF certified for sport. You know, even if a product isn't providing usage guidelines and, and, um, and recommendations specifically for youth consumers, which for us would be under 18, at the very least, find a product that's third-party certified, that's NSF certified for sport, because then you know the formula has been reviewed and approved as safe. You know that the product doesn't contain any of almost 300 uh, WADA banned substances, and it's not going to cause a positive drug test. But for a youth athlete, you know, youth athletes are not drug tested. They simply want to be healthy. They don't want to put anything right. harmful into their body. And so, you know, for us, it's about, about being a trusted brand, a high quality brand, and a brand that 
that youth athletes and their parents can turn to if and when a youth athlete decides to consume a supplement, we believe that, that we might be a good choice for them. What's most important, though, is working with a trusted healthcare professional to get the proper guidance, you know, on nutrition. You know, even if an ingredient isn't going to be harmful, it could be at a certain dose for a certain athlete. And consumers don't know that. Parents often don't know that. The best link to use of, to proper use of a dietary supplement is through a trusted healthcare professional, whether that's a nutritionist or a registered dietitian or a PCP, somebody who has the knowledge to give proper guidance and supplement use is critically important. And we always believe that's the best link to our products for consumers. And I think what a lot of consumers don't think about is how the ingredients in their particular dietary supplement might interact with a prescription drug they're taking or might interact with an allergy that they might or might not have. So it's always great to hear some of this information, Adam. Now, as clean, what do you guys do to keep up with the ever evolving supplement industry to stay on top of cutting edge products? Because I'm sure you could go into a lot of detail of how big this industry is, but also the variety of products that are available. Yeah, that's a great question. And it's a complicated question, but I have a very simple answer for it. And the answer is what goes back to what I talked about before. It's about the research and it's about the data. The sports nutrition industry is vast and it's extremely saturated and very noisy. We try to simplify all of that, remove the noise, and unless a formula or an ingredient you know, um, is substantiated by credible research and data, we simply won't touch it. We believe in innovating very simply with ingredients that are tried and true, formulas that have been researched and ingredients that have been researched, tested, demonstrated to be safe and effective. We don't necessarily believe in, 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 in innovating with the newest, the latest cutting edge ingredients or formulas because most of the time, they don't have the science and the credibility and the safety backing them that qualifies them for us as something that we should innovate with. We simply believe in providing safer, higher quality alternatives to products and categories that might already exist, but doing it with higher quality ingredients, you know, the clinical dosings of those ingredients based on the data and based on the research and taking it one step further with the NSF Certified for Sport program to ensure that they're safe for any consumer and for any athlete. You know, for us, it's, it's simple. It's about data and research. You guys carry a wide array of products. What are the top selling products that you guys have? Yeah, it's a great question. The, the, the strongest sellers for us are actually our everyday essentials. As a sports nutrition brand, it's sort of the opposite of what you might expect. And the reason is we, when we launched Clean, we recognized a need to, to drive this paradigm shift away from products that have, you know, short term, that cause short term gains, because often those products can be the most questionable. We believed in shifting this paradigm to more everyday health and wellness through supporting a strong nutritional foundation. And once you do that, you can train more consistently, more effectively, you know, for longer. And if your nutritional foundation is solid, you're then going to be able to see the gains that you're making to reach peak performance simply because you're healthy okay. um, and healthy more consistently. So for us, it's our foundation products. It's our multivitamin, our omega, our probiotic, our vitamin D. And, you know, you look at uh, the professional sports leagues, Major League Baseball, was the first one to really endorse the need to support player health and wellness with uh, the policies that were put into the, the joint drug agreement and collective bargaining agreement with the players and mandating that teams had to carry a budget for dietary supplements. But taking it one step further, the only supplements that those teams could be recommending and players could be using are NSF certified for sport. Yeah, And what that meant for brands like us, brands like us whose bread and butter is really, you know, everyday essentials, foundational health and wellness. There are very few products out there that are in that category 
that are NSF certified for sport. And it's not, it's, it has nothing to do with peak performance. It has everything to do with everyday health and wellness. And that for us is the reason why those products are most popular. And then you, then you see leagues like the NHL follow suit again, you know, endorsing and supporting third party testing with the NSF certified for sport. And one by one, the teams are adopting policies like this really with the goal of supporting player health and wellness and athlete health health and wellness in the safest way possible. You know, we do have some very popular products within our performance category, whey isolate, our creatine. And creatine is actually a great example of a product that has, you know, decades of data and research substantiating its safety, its effectiveness, but also a very targeted use for adult age athletes, but it's a product that there are very few out there that are actually third party certified and tested for banned substances. So products like that, which are simply one ingredient or two ingredients to simply have the the third party testing endorse it as safe is critical. And that's for us why they become so popular. Let's drill down just for a minute on third party certification. And one of the things we're also going to do is we're going to have NSF certified for sport on the podcast to learn more about their certification process. But if you can, Adam, what is third party product certification and what does it mean when someone sees a clean product that has the NSF certified for sport label on it? We chose to partner with the NSF because they're a global organization and very widely recognized as the the gold standard for third-party sports supplement safety testing. What third-party certification means, you know, there's a lot of, it's it's a very extensive process. What it means, though, when when you look at it at the highest level, it provides assurance to coaches, athletes, trainers, consumers, that the products they're consuming that contain that badge and that mark are safe. The contents of the product match what the brand state is on the label is actually in the in the bottle itself and it, it provides the ultimate degree of safety giving athletes and their coaches peace of mind and reassurance that they're consuming safe products that aren't going to compromise their health negatively in any way and that's important for coaches for coaches recommending products but then athletes who are consuming them it's about peace of mind And one of the reasons, Adam, we feel that's important is simply because what we know and what industry experts tell us is that there is a large lack of regulation within the dietary supplement industry. And what that means is you have some of these product manufacturers, very small amount of them, that are out there that don't have to certify the ingredients that are on their label. What does that mean? What we know is between 18 and 25% of dietary supplements that you could purchase at your local health food store, you could purchase online that aren't certified could contain banned substances or other illegal drugs. Now, whether that's intentional adulteration or whether that's unintentional adulteration due to the raw materials and how they're being manufactured is a whole other discussion. But what Adam is saying, and, and Adam, what I'm hearing you saying is you guys take that extra step, not only to ensure that all of all the ingredients that are in your product are actually in there, but you guys go all the way back to even testing your raw materials as you're manufacturing these products, which is extremely important for people to understand and why this is so important when you are purchasing products uh, like, like a company like Clean that, that does take the nece- necessary steps to get their products certified by NSF certified for sport that you know exactly what you're putting in your body. That's critical. And, you know, you look at, you look at the industry and you see, you know, a host of different brands and also a wide range of price points. Now, there's no denying that products like Clean, many of our competitors and peers in the industry that are third-party tested, you're going to find them priced a bit higher than, than some cheaper alternatives that you might be able to find in in a store or online but as consumers you have to know that's for good reason and that's because for athletes who really truly want to be informed about what they're consuming you have to know you're going to get what you pay for and and you want to as a consumer i believe you want to be able to trust that what you're consuming what you're taking you know when you open up a bottle and you're looking at a capsule or powder that what you're consuming when you consume it is truly accurately represented on that label and 
the only way to know that is if a brand takes these extra measures and these extra steps investing in the safety of their product, but ultimately doing it because they're investing in the safety of the consumer, you know, and, and for us, point. it's paramount, you know, and you look at, you look at products like clean and it's not specific to clean, you know, we've got a number of competitors out there that are equally high quality, sell to many of the same consumers and professional sports teams and athletes. For us, where we're really differentiated is four key areas. It's the science. Um, like I said before, we only use substantiated science based on data and research. It's the idea of peak performance as a positive side effect of everyday health and wellness. Number three, it's this idea of free from formulas, providing everything you need and nothing you don't. And number four, and most important, it's about third party testing, using NSF certified for sport to substantiate the formulas to test for banned substances so that athletes and coaches can make safer, more informed decisions. And that's key. Those are great points. And what you're also doing is you're protecting that consumer. You're giving them an understanding that when I take this product, I know exactly what I'm putting in my body. Now, as a consumer, where do I find your products? Do you guys sell direct to consumer in the stores, direct to consumer online? Uh, how, does, how does your supply chain work? Yeah, it's a good question. So Clean's a small brand, somewhat limited brand awareness. We have a growing social community. We have a, an e-commerce website where we sell direct to uh, both coaches, trainers, as well as consumers. But as a, as, a, as a premium brand, which is what we would consider ourselves, with a higher price, premium type product, it becomes quite difficult to tell your story to consumers in, in retail stores. You know, when you don't have the opportunity to speak directly to them, which we, we try our hardest to do with every consumer who's buying our products. And for that reason, the best way for consumers to purchase from us is either through our own website. We do have an active Amazon um, presence as well, where we provide uh, ample educational material on the products and formulas. But what you'll find at cleanathlete.com, which is our website, is a host of educational resources for both you know, coach trainers, as well as consumers, such as webinars, blogs, content, recipes, great ways to incorporate the products into your food um, and into your diet in unique ways, which is especially important for kids, you know, who are on the run, on the go, they're going to school, they're getting home, they're studying, they're with their friends, you know, a quick smoothie with a scoop or two of protein powder can sometimes make all the difference for them. So the best place to find our products and to be educated on our products is our own website. Beyond that, many coaches, trainers, personal trainers, um, healthcare professionals dispense or distribute our products either themselves or virtually. And what we believe, and this, this is true for all of our healthcare professional brands within Atrium Innovations, is that we believe that, that a trusted intermediary or a learned intermediary between us and the consumer is key. Like what I was talking about before, the best look to proper use and safe use of a product, of a dietary supplement product or a sports nutrition product, is under the guidance of a trusted expert. So if consumers wish to purchase our products and wish to have that extra level of guidance, ask your coach, ask your trainer. If they can call up clean, get set up, up, get set up with an account, they can purchase directly from us and then provide it or distribute it to their athletes through a very safe way. Great. And one of the things that I'll be sure to do, Adam, is in our show notes, I will have a resource section where we can uh, put some of the links that you're discussing right now so that people can just scroll down on their phones, on their app to find them, or if they're listening on their computer, they can actually open the show notes as they're listening to gather some of this information. But a few years back, we reached out to you asking for help to identify some female athletes who represent what all me embodies. And at the time, you connected us to two of your female brand ambassadors. It was Elise Willoughby, pro BMX rider, and Mandy Marquette, a professional cyclist who we actually just did a podcast with in episode eight, if you want to go back and listen to that. What do these sponsored athletes do for clean? And how do you go about selecting an athlete to represent your brand? Yeah, that's a great question. And in this day and age, and you know, we're living in a digital day and age, social media is where you've got the best chance of communicating and engaging with your community. We get inquiries 
regularly from athletes. And in most cases, very, very good quality, honest, transparent athletes. And it's often difficult, as you said, to find the right ambassadors who truly embody what it means to be a clean athlete and to represent the brand. These two, Elise and Mandy, are two of our flagship clean athlete, sponsored athlete. Um, Elise, she's a two-time world champion, two-time Olympian um, in the BMX Supercross event. Mandy's an 18-time track cycling national champion, member of the USA national team. These two athletes in particular, along with we've got a team of about 40 or so individual athletes, they embody what it means to be a clean athlete, plain and simple. That's what it's about. What that means is that they're world-class, high-performing athletes, in the case of Elise and Mandy. But we also sponsor a number of athletes who are just like you and I, recreational athletes, living a healthy, active lifestyle, working out a few days a week, you know, promoting health and wellness. Mandy and Elise in particular, you know, they train and compete on the world stage. They have the highest ethical and moral standards. They achieve their goals. They, they win bike races fair and clean through their own hard work, commitment, determination, and they do it by pursuing a healthy nutritional foundation to achieve those goals. What's really unique about Elise and Mandy is that they're, uh, you know, on the one hand, world-class athletes, but they're just like you and I. They serve as role models to athletes everywhere, any age, whether you're a master's athlete or a youth athlete up and coming in your career. You know, Elise and Mandy are examples of what you can accomplish through sport in a clean and fair way, simply putting your best effort forward putting a premium focus on your nutrition, your health, your well-being, and by taking a very detailed, scientific, obsessive approach to health, wellness, and training for peak performance. Both are amazing females. I've had an opportunity to visit with them over the past couple of years. And again, we can't thank you enough, Adam and Clean, for connecting us with both Elise and Mandy. They're inspirational. We'll also put their social media links in the show notes as well, but have really enjoyed just getting to know both of them and their passion to inspire young people to want to do things the right way and live and compete without the use of appearance and performance enhancing substances. And Adam, I mean, you've been a wealth of information in this whole podcast. And one of my favorite parts of our show is to throw a few curveball questions your way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you three questions. So shoot from the hip, respond to whatever comes first. These are a lot of, these are fun. These are things to get to know you a little bit better. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Coffee or tea? Coffee every day. <laughs> so you're a caffeine junkie like most of us then? Any any uh, particular types of coffee you like to have? I would say any kind of strong coffee that gets me up in the morning chasing my five and three-year-old around the house before I get them off to school is no work for me. So iced coffee or hot coffee? Hot coffee. Hot coffee. All right. So yeah, here in Texas, it gets really hot. So for me in the morning, it's hard to drink a piping hot cup of coffee when it's 105 degrees outside. So I'm I'm hot coffee in the wintertime. I'm iced coffee in the summertime. Question two, what is your favorite meal to cook? Favorite meal to cook is going to be pasta. I just made it last night, in fact. The reason is it's quick. It's easy. I often train in the morning. I'm very hungry and burn a lot of calories. It's an easy go-to. It's also one of my kids' favorite meals. And so it, it checks all the boxes for us. So, it's, yeah, it's win-win for dad, mom, and kids. Out of all of the places that you've visited in your lifetime thus far, what has been your favorite place to go to? My favorite definitely Southern Spain. Uh, my wife and I, we spent a week there on our honeymoon. Had never been there. I'm fluent in Spanish. And in terms of the, the culture, the people, the climate, the geography, for me, it checked all the boxes. And I can't wait to go back. My dad did a whole lot of international travel in his previous career and said he loved going to Spain, which I've never been there. Uh, that would definitely be a place I would love to visit. But Adam, on behalf of the whole team here at the Taylor Hooten Foundation, we wanted to thank you for spending time with us today to talk about you and talk about the Clean Athlete brand. We appreciate everything that you guys do to support the Taylor Hooten Foundation and you know look forward to continued conversations in the future. 
Thank you, Don. It's been my pleasure. And I can't thank you and the Taylor Hooten Foundation enough for what you do to advocate for clean sport, for fair play, for, for ethics and morals amongst kids and athletes. And um, I think uh, you've got a great purpose and we're happy to be a part of it. Well, that's it for today's show. Thanks for listening to the All Me podcast from the Taylor Hooten Foundation, a nonprofit organization leading a national campaign to enlighten people to the truths about appearance and performance enhancing substances and inspiring people to live and compete without the use of these substances. Please be sure to subscribe to our podcast and tune in to our next episode.